Gruski. Chris Langley's car there, letting go in the background. Now we get the view from Andrew Jordan's car. John McCluskey as he runs through the dirt, picks it up onto the windscreen of the Ford Focus. Coming back out onto the tarmac, and that is Banbridge. Lawrence Gibson coming round on the outside of the Metro 6 or 4, getting the work over from young Andrew Jordan here. This, of course, not about racing, it's all about putting in a good time and getting themselves to the front of the grid for the A finals. We go on board with John McCluskey as he comes through the gears. Not looking terribly happy there, he's got the symptoms are at all sorts of angles then through the rough, running out very wide before he comes back onto the tarmac, being pursued by Lawrence Gibson and young Andrew Jordan as they come up to take the checkered flag. For Kevin in this series, oh and there could be more uh, trouble here, packed around there, seems to be struggling with that gearbox, he's looking over his shoulder, and as he does, John McCluskey just edges by, and Garan seems to have started the gearbox problem because he's uh, picked up the pace yet again and now he's in hot pursuit of John McCluskey in the Zara. So that whatever problem he's having with that gearbox appears to be intermittent. But certainly John McCluskey ready, willing and able to pounce when the opportunity presented itself. And now Pat Duran in hot pursuit of McCluskey who really is flying, getting that car very, very sideways there through the rub. Coming back out onto the tarmac then and the run up to Honda Curve, Pat Duran, able to keep in touch but not able to close that gap. And again Duran has dropped off there as John McCluskey takes the win in that heat and Pat Duran just struggles with his car to get across the line. Steve Bundy meanwhile has gone up to third place and Mark Watson has to settle for fourth.